Hey everyone, Carlos over at BearBullTraders.com. Here's my recap for today. I uh, had a good trade on SKX. Um, this stock actually did a, was a nice opening range breakup, or you can also could have taken it as an ABCD pattern. Um, but here's how I took the trade. Um, right at the open, this stock was a, had a lot of volume. Um, it, it was very indecisive on what it wanted to do first. And actually, me and some of the guys in the chat room were talking about possibly taking this to the short side. Um, so I'm glad I waited the five minutes to see w in which direction the stock wanted to go. So uh, it started pushing up with a lot of volume. Um, I got in here um, twice. I got stopped out. I just didn't like the price action and I was expecting it for it to pull back. Then uh, then here later on at uh, 942, I had a, a better entry right next to the VWAP. This is a little further from VWAP. So I found it to be a little bit extended and I didn't want to hold it through these pullbacks because I was very heavy. So the minute the stock didn't go my way, I, I, I pulled out twice. Uh, then here was closest to the VWAP. I came right in. Um, I was able to survive the small pullbacks because, again, my uh, my entry was better. Then uh, once it made a new or high, I took some profits on once it cracked the high of the day. Um, and then I was took some profits as it made a uh, new or highs all the way all the way to uh, to this level here. OK, um, then at this point, I just started once I took some profits here, I just started my stop loss kept moving up to the moving average on the one minute chart. And once it cracked that moving average, that's when I took the rest out. Um, and then I, I also want to show you guys a video of a lot of this trade live at this point here and show you how I was able to uh, to do this technique that I that I do sometimes, you know, um, that it helps me get out with a better exit to take profit. Um, so I'm going to play that video after I'm done with this one. Um, so, all right, guys, have a great weekend, and uh, I'll see you all Monday. So this is the live video I recorded earlier. I have it on pause right now, but I want to show you what I did here. Um, basically, I had 333 shares left. I was uh, I was taking profits heavy over here because the price action was crazy, and I didn't want it to uh, move against me. So what I did is um, I put uh, I wanted to sell 133 shares. I put a stop loss, um, a stop here, and then a trailing stop loss, right? For seven cents and what I'm gonna do is I know this it wants to crack 26 but it can run up higher right so I don't want to just set an order to 26 and take my profits what I want to do is once it hits 26 I want to send a trailing order with seven cents and you could choose five cents you know whatever you're comfortable with so just in case this runs up to 26 20 you know I'm, I'm making more profits if it pulls back seven cents I'm gonna get out you know at 26 uh, 13 opposed to just taking profit 26 16 so I have done this uh, several times. It has worked out very well. It works well for anyone that, you know, you, if you're not fast enough with the hotkeys, even if you're fast enough, sometimes these stocks move so fast that you're not able to catch the top. Um, now, you're not going to get guaranteed to catch the top on anything you do, but at, le at least this will help you, you know, once it cracks 26, then you can uh, hit the sell and send your order to the market. And then as soon as it, you know, pulls back, you can uh, you can take a profit. So let me show you now. I'll play this video so you can see it. Okay, so here it goes. Uh, I'm watching the trade. So as soon as it hits uh, 26, right here, I uh, I send my order. It pops up. Then the minute it comes back down, seven cents, which is what I put as my trading stop. That's when it's, my order is going to be get filled. In this case, it didn't run as much as I planned it would. But imagine this would have went to 26.40. You know, you're not taking your shares out at 26. You're letting it run to 26.40. It pulls back to 20, 20, uh, 26, 31, I'm sorry, 26, 33, and you're going to be able to take profits there instead of just capping out at 26. So again, a good strategy um, to use on scaling out, and um, hopefully this could help you out.